Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to War on the Sea, a new game out by Killerfish Games, the developers of Atlantic Fleet and Cold Waters. This is episode number 37 of our Let's Play series, looking at this game, and we are playing as the Americans in Operation Watchtower, or I guess technically the Allies, because we have some Commonwealth forces as well. And in this series, things haven't gone so well for us. I know I've had a few people even say, give up, it's over, you can't win, at least you can't win within a reasonable amount of time, but we'll see if that's true or not. Uh, the Japanese are about to take Port Moresby, although our troops continue to hold out there uh, against overwhelming odds. Likewise, the Japanese have landed on the Santa Cruz Islands, and that is not looking so great for us. Milne Bay on the tip of New Guinea, things are going a little bit better. We actually outnumber the Japanese now, I believe, and we're holding our own there. And the Japanese are trying to land troops on Rennell Island, which is our key base uh, for projecting power against Guadalcanal. And I'm hoping to build it up into a bombardment sort of shuttle point where I can use uh, warships to just shuttle between Rennell and, and uh, Guadalcanal and making sure that we keep those islands completely suppressed from an airbase perspective. Um, you know, Rennell, if I lose this island, if the Japanese succeed and get troops ashore and they take the island from me, I think I would quit the series at that point. But we'll see because we that hasn't happened yet. We're about to jump into a battle that's a little bit more even than I would like. Uh, we've got two heavy cruisers and some destroyers. I think the enemy has one heavy cruiser, um, but uh, I don't know. We should win this thing. Uh, with that being said, the Japanese are, uh, you know, engaging, engaging us at night. So why don't we go ahead and jump in and see if we can stop the invasion of Rennell Island with the Japanese troops still on their ships. Worst case scenario, we focus on the transports and just let our ships get sunk, I think. We're in a line formation, so that's what we need it to be. Where are these guys? What are we moving at anyway? 24 knots? Heavy seas, by the way. Not detecting anything, huh? We'll sail back toward the island. New contact, ship bearing. All right. So, in that case, keep this formation going. We'll, whoops. I don't want to do that. All right, so we're going to sail these guys behind the enemy formation. These guys don't look like they're moving much. Destroyers and, and heavy cruisers, and then the enemy cargo ships are behind. So get the formation back in line. Rough seas, by the way. Very rough seas. You can see these destroyers are getting tossed around here, kind of like, uh, like the tin cans that they are. What's the range on these guys? 10,000 yards? Not even very far. Japanese don't see me yet, I don't think. All right, what is this this one again? You say this is the tone? Yep. Alright, so the tone. I haven't spotted the other ships in the task force. So actually, I've, I've only spotted the two and the one, which they're both tones, I guess. There's two destroyers out front. The good news is our current location is not a good spot for the enemy to try and launch torpedoes on us. We'll keep closing then. I'm actually kind of tempted here. What if we... Alright, three is a merchant. Let's pause here for a second. So... Maru. 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 Can we... Let's do this. Torpedoes. We'll do four, I think. One... 
one spread. Five degrees spread. You're going to target this rear ship. You're going to target this ship. Heavy cruisers, you're going to target the enemy heavy. You're going to concentrate your fire on the lead enemy heavy. Radars. All right. Okay. So let's get these torpedo solutions going. And if I can surprise them with, like, a, an American nighttime torpedo strike before they spot me... I'm guessing the, the rough seas are making it difficult for them to spot me. We're going to turn a little bit. Alright, so we can't engage, or we can't, uh, I think they're probably spotting us now. Yeah, their guns are, are swiveling, so they've, they've got us. Alright. How's the torpedo solution? Zero percent, really? Meanwhile, the enemy are turning to run. Enemy shots are out. Alright, I'm telling my ships to engage. Holy shit, that was a close... They straddled me pretty damn good there. Of the destroyers open fire with their guns, I guess. Oh, the porter's a... She has two, two guns. That's interesting. So the enemy's firing star shells on us. We are on them. The enemy firing any torpedoes? I would think they might at this range. Their destroyers are swinging in here to charge us. We're popping star shells out over the enemy. Enemy heavy cruisers firing out over this way. Story is going to break formation with the destroyers. Let's go ahead and kick their speed up a bit. I want the destroyers to charge into the, the line of the enemy transports. We'll have our heavy cruisers engage the enemy heavies. Oh, jeez. We just took a big... Uh, pretty... Pretty good enemy hit here along the side of the ship. What kind of fire... Like, give me a better fire control solution than that, boys. All right, Astoria, come right. Get all your guns into action. Help Minneapolis get her rear guns into action as well. They get a buff for night fighting. We get radar. Is our destroyer on fire? No. Just smoke. All right, I think what we're going to do, let's bring this full up here. I'm going to give a wide spread on these guys. All right, straighten out. Fire. Fire the torpedoes. Fire the torpedoes. Okay, once the torpedoes are out... Then I'm going to go ahead and switch fire to target 5. What are we, what's our range? 7,000 yards? Alright, target 5. Can these guys hit with torpedoes at this range? Not quite. Actually... Target the tone with your torpedoes. Give me a good solution on that. I 
don't think we're firing very... We're at 40% accuracy, huh? What about Porter? Where's your torpedo solution? Get it up there, boys. You are not firing at that tone, by the way. Give me some star shells above these guys. They're, one of the enemy ships is smoking. Screw it. Give me a four degree spread and fire. Twenty four thousand yards. Oh, the range is increasing. Not great. So probably not going to fire at that that guy. Meanwhile, the lead destroyer is damaged. She's taking some hits. One of the enemy ships is smoking. Looks like it's uh, one of the Japanese destroyers. She took some damage. Our speed 22 knots. Contact lost. Alright, I want you to turn into the enemy formation. You're on fire, which is probably not great that you're moving at flank. Minor damage. Fire's out in 50 seconds. Switch your fire. Why aren't you firing star shells? That's what I'm kind of confused about. You fired them over the cargo ships, just not over the... Enemy cruisers. Alright, I want you to adjust course just slightly in the event that the enemy may have fired torpedoes at us. Also, it may throw their fire control solution off a little bit. Whoops. How about you use the nav button to go where I want you to go, Walder? Because that was a mistake. Forgot you were turning. This enemy destroyer seems to be charging us. What is the 7 anyway? What is the ship? Does anybody know offhand? It's definitely a destroyer. Is it a kamikaze? The gun shields look a little off. Oh, we just hit it with something. Anybody know what this is? I don't know, the gun turrets look off to me. Alright, so our cruiser's adjusted formation. Hopefully that throws off any enemy torpedoes. What are we firing, Astoria? HE? How about you switch over to AP? It's a Watakazi or a Umikazi? Well, she's getting hit pretty hard, whatever she is. One turret, one turret, two in the back. Not this. I don't even see the Umikaze as an option, but it's not a Watakaze.
Kamikaze? Alright. Well, then I got it right already. Heavy cruiser looks like she's on fire. She's got a small fire going. So does the ship she's firing at. Or maybe not. But the kamikaze in front of her is on fire. Meanwhile, how are these merchants doing? Any damage to them? No. You guys doing anything? Just let open up. Narrow fire go. You're at 6,000 yards. Heavy fire. This destroyer's firing at the kamikaze. That's probably the one doing all the damage to her. Alright, adjust course again, cruiser, just in case the enemy fired again any any torpedoes out at you. Yeah, it is too bad the Dakota's not in this fight. Moderate damage, minor flooding. Who's who's hitting her? Is she getting hit by the enemy destroyers or is she getting hit by the enemy? merchant ships because she's getting hit by the merchant ships can we call bullshit all right the kamikaze's sunk let's focus on the um enemy merchants seven thousand yards which one is this is this this is one turret in the front one in the back Have we hit the tone at all? Yeah, she's on fire. Okay. I'm trusting my destroyers to charge in and finish these guys, but I'm I'm charging through a headwind on fire. Are these guys using star shells? Use star shells. Increase your accuracy with spotting tools. Looks like we got a hit. She's on fire. The merchants are the objective. At the end of the day, I don't want to lose the cruisers, but the real goal, the real prize is the enemy merchants. So her cruiser's taking minor damage. One of her float planes looks like it's destroyed. She's also got some minor damage in the front of the ship. A little bit of flooding. She's only moving at 20 knots, so she's a good steady gun platform in very bad seas. The enemy tone was on fire. But we're doing some damage to him. There's a nice little hit there on that salvo. Destroyer just got hit from the enemy. They want to focus on my DD, that's fine. Heavy damage to her now. What's she shooting at? So this enemy merchant is taking some damage. There's four enemy merchant ships left. I'm trying to have my destroyers focus on them. I told these guys to fire star shells, but they don't seem to be... Well, I guess they have no star shell ammo. What about their secondary guns? Can they fire star shells? Give me some goddamn visibility over the enemy formation. Don't make me manually shoot those things. We're taking a, taking a pounding now at 5,000 yards. Good hit there on the enemy, though. Another fire just started on the uh, Astoria. How's the uh, Minneapolis doing? She's not taken a hit yet, knock on wood. The enemy's been focusing its fire on the Astoria at the lead of the, the line. All right, so our secondaries are popping some, uh, some star shells. Let's do that for our other ship here, too. Give us some better fire control options here. We're up to 80% on the solution. 
We've lost our two front turrets by the looks of it on the Astoria, so she's not going to be super effective. You're watching from Astoria, New York right now. Well, I don't think she's going to make it out of this fight, so I apologize. All right, this destroyer just took torpedoes. God damn it. Two enemy torpedoes hit the Waller. So she's going to be a goner. All right. Spin out here and get to 37 knots and get into that damn formation. I'm happy the enemy wasted their torpedoes on a destroyer. Heavy and moderate. The Waller is sinking. Oh, boy. All right, let's pull the Astoria out of line. Minneapolis, it's your show now. Increase speed to 20 knots. Astoria, try and swing out. See if you can't escape. Two long lances on any destroyer. I don't care what, what defenses you have, you're a goner. All right, swing in here. How's the, how are these merchants doing? Any of them a fire, a blaze, or anything? No? All right, Porter, do your goddamn thing. You're a fucking destroyer. Speed in there. Can you fire any torpedoes at these guys? You don't have any left. You already fired yours. Got it. All right. I don't even care anymore. I mean, I want to get the Astoria out of here, but I don't know that she's going to make it. Heavy damage, moderate flooding, 60% speed. The tone is definitely... I think she's a goner. She looks like she's basically underwater. Astoria. For a tone, I'll take the trade. Alright, we got the lead tone. We'll attack the other one. Adjusting formation a little bit. Adjusting course a little bit. Fucking A. I'm telling you to turn. Arr! Go out this way. I always forget that I've got my ships like in a turn. And then they end up doing stupid things. All right, fire at that that merchant ship over there with the rear guns of the Astoria. Meanwhile, it's Minneapolis's nine eight-inch guns against the Tone. The good thing is in this scenario with the Tone charging us, I don't think she can bring her two rear turrets in, so it's nine guns versus four. If she's going to keep charging us like this, she should really go broadside on to get all eight of her guns into the act, but I think she's trying to charge for torpedo reasons. If she can get a torpedo off on us, we might be screwed. But as she's charging us, this is a little bit like a Jutland moment where we can kind of pound the front of her ship and do some damage here. You can see multiple hits on that salvo. So Minneapolis is giving some good broadsides here. We have been maneuvering a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn a little bit more. We're pretty damn close in, 3,000 yards. If they get some torpedoes out, we're fucked. There's one enemy destroyer back still in the act as well. Multiple hits there. I don't think she can fire torpedoes straight ahead though. I think most of her forward guns may actually be out of action. I'm going to reverse our turn. Let's speed up a bit. Let's make 20, 32 knots, swing around, and present the other side of our ship here. One, it'll get me out of range of the other, the rear turrets if they come into action as we kind of get into the right angle. Two, it'll, it'll make it difficult for him to get a torpedo solution on us. So if he's turning to try and fire torpedoes on me right now, which he certainly could be. By reversing my turn, I kind of take that, that solution out of the act. 
He is turning to try and get those rear turrets into action there. You could just see they just fired one. <laughs> this is a slaughter fest. Corn approves. All right. Also, I like that our turrets turn at a more realistic speed, unlike the World of Warship turrets. Just saying. All right. Porter, engage six. I think that's your best target. All right. Also, you need to recognize that. So let's go ahead and uh, it's a Maru. What's your fire control solution? Thirty-six percent. All right. Our heavy cruiser mini or Astoria is firing on. Maru 5. Astoria's hanging in there. Critical damage. They're probably going to scuttle her after the battle. Slow you down to 3 knots. Maybe you can get things under control. Meanwhile, we've reversed our turn, so we'll level out here. We just got to pray their torpedo tubes are out of action. She's pretty much dead in the water, so she's a goner. She's savable, you think, Blake? I just generally have seen any time a ship is listed as critical, it tends to get it gets scuttled. But maybe not. All right, we're in, inside 3,000 yards, boys. This is point blank. Oh, that was a bad hit there amidships. Multiple hits on the enemy. She's a goner. It's just a matter of time. She's still firing, though. She's still fighting away. A blaze stem to stern and very low in the water. Load for all you're worth, boys. Moderate flooding, minor damage. Multiple hits there. I don't even see a lot of splashes, which mean most of most of our shots must be going home. Let's reverse the turn again, just in case enemy fish. Porter, meanwhile, is charging in on the cargo ships, trying to do him some damage. No more star shells, though, so not actually does have some. So let's go ahead and fire some star shells over those guys. Minneapolis is reversing the turn again. I think most of the enemy guns are probably out of action. She's a goner, for sure. She's real low in the water and listing heavily. Actually, no, she's at least got one, one turret in action still. <laughs> Moderate flooding. That's what the Titanic had. I guess it depends on your definition of moderate. Some splashes there, so some inaccurate shots here. We're shooting a little bit over, I think, because there's a lot of flooding. Two shell hits just went in there atop the belt. Is she dead in the water? She's making two knots. Oh, I did slow her down. Minor flooding, critical damage, a lot of yellow on that compartment. The porter, meanwhile, is charging in point blank with these enemy cargo ships, trying to trying to do some frickin' damage. Minneapolis, will this tone sink? How much ammo do we have left? Still a fair bit of uh, secondary ammo. Enough primary ammo, I think. We could just leave the tone to sink. I think she would. Two more shell hits alongside the belt here. The water's almost over her deck. Almost over her superstructure. All of that salvo was below. Went in early. 
Alright, what type of enemy ship is this? One tur two turrets of two. Alright, tone is sinking. Engage that destroyer. What is this guy? Ha! We got a nice hit there. That's a Yugi? No, not that. Not a Yugumo, that's for sure. I'll switch the rounds in a second, guys. What? What is this guy? It's not not a Kazi. Kabuki, maybe. She's only got one rear turret. That's the weird thing. It's not a Fabuki, guys. Fabuki has two rear turrets. You can see these two stacked up on each other. It's only got one. She's ar she's already ablaze, though. It's not Nakuzi. Not Nakuzi. I mean, I'm not sure it matters the way we're hammering her. Jeez. Hit after hit after hit. She's dead in the water by the looks of it. Or almost. By the time we ID her, she's going to be dead. doesn't look like a Momi. I just checked. I don't know. Oh, whatever. She's going to sink whatever she is. Porter's coming alongside. Inside 2,500 yards. It's too bad I wasted all my torpedoes. This would be a good time to fire them. But enemy cargo ships eating five-inch shells like a champ. Let's slow down a little bit. Make us a better gun platform. 20 knots is good. Scared going into the fight turned out pretty awesome, yeah. I mean, the Astoria took some pretty heavy damage. We'll see how she how she turns out. Heavy damage. It's down from critical to heavy, so she should be salvageable, I think. Still lobbing some shells at number 5 here. Not doing a whole lot of damage. Minneapolis is pounding this Japanese destroyer, which is... Oh man, the water's like up above the the bridge. I don't know why it isn't sinking yet, but it's going to be. Yeah, identifying ships, th that menu is a little bit like let's I don't like that they throw every single ship regardless of country. It, it would be nice to be able to drop down based on classes in country that would make things go a lot more a lot a lot quicker all right let's let's adjust course just in case she threw some torpedoes out at us A couple more hits and I think she's a goner. Nice little adjustment there from the Minneapolis, the Porter. I think we're good there. Let's level out. Okay, we're hitting that cargo ship pretty good. She's down. What does she add? She's moving one knot. She's dead in the water. Rough seas. The water should be putting that fire out in theory. But 
Oh, man. Those waves toss her around like a rag doll. Meanwhile, there's still four more merchants to sink. Let's pretend these guys are getting real close to the shore, preparing to unload their troops on Rennell Island. I guess, Lake, it could be an oil fire. Good point. So we did lose one destroyer. We lost the Waller. Astoria heavily damaged. The enemy lost two Tone-class heavy cruisers and is about to lose two destroyers. How much ammo are you expending here? Maybe you should just save the prime. I mean, I guess... It's all HE ammo anyway, or AP ammo. Not all, but a lot of it. I'd say maybe we should save the ammo, but on the flip side, like, this is probably the only enemy task force that you're going to engage before we withdraw you back to New Hebrides to rearm. We'll have the battleship shield the, the eye. Oh, <laughs> what a broadside. Those might have been the secondaries. The tone, not the tone. Got your sound, Mac. I think I knew that. I'm just bad. Do you have to ID cargo ships? I think IDing any ships adds, you know, improves your your accuracy. I'm not sure you have to do anything. Yeah, pretty good result considering I was happy to lose the fleet if it meant stopping the invasion. Yeah. I would agree there. And then we'll have enough points probably to form this, to turn this, ta we might have enough points as a result of this battle to turn this task force of two cruisers and two destroyers into a carrier task force, or at least get real close to it. Let's close the range before you guys engage. I don't want you to start shooting at that guy quite at this range. Man, it would have been nice to have some torpedoes here instead of using them all up early. I was hoping to get a, f a shot on a enemy merchant as they were fleeing with a torpedo in the event that our fleet got destroyed. But if I had more confidence in our abilities, more confidence in our abilities, then I might have saved those for right about now to finish these guys off. Wish at this point I could fast forward. Porter is firing HE, yes. That's all she's got. She's a few star shells. Alright, hold your fire. Cut out ahead of the remaining transports. Flank speed. I'm going to assume this thing's going to sink on its own. But we'll see. How long have people been trying with America? Uh, Mara's, I th I'm not sure if this is all their heavy cruisers killed or not. I'd have to take a look. Just sink already. had a secondary explosion there. Meanwhile, this destroyer is like just barely slipping under the waves. She's not shooting back with her guns. Oh yeah, there were two more cruisers in that combat group north of New Guinea. I don't know why you wasted star shells there. Just a few more passing shots to... We'll do one more salvo. I just like watching every single one of my shells strike home. The rear turrets have a bit more ammo, so I guess I'll let them hit away. The military and waste? It didn't know you'd ever be associated. <laughs> yeah.
Gotta love every round hit hitting home, huh? How is she not sinking yet? She's listing pretty good. I think we can cease fire. Okay. It was a Yakuza. What's our fire control situation look like? 10%? Can we use star shells from our secondaries? Do they still have some? Well, one of the turrets does. Let's turn so we can get the turrets on the other side into action here. thousand yards I think that's in the range of a five inch secondary don't sink the jacuzzi it's already full star shells for, well, some of the rear ships have them, or rear turrets have them. Inside 2,000 yards, I gotta think you'd be able to hit here. You're coming right alongside them, boys. Sender. Cruiser's heavy shells, or secondary battery here, loading up some star shells over the transports. Oh, wrong target. One of the other Marus? Oh, this this Maru back here that we already finished off pretty much is, is being hit. All right, so what's our solution on this guy now? 30%? Switch over to HE. Still at 10,000 yards. That's a little bit far out. I was trying to go fast to close the distance with them, but we'll slow down to 22 knots and see if that impacts our accuracy. Switching over to spot to see if that helps. Still 28%. Porter, meanwhile, is pounding this lead ship here. Tons of 5 inches slamming into her. I'm not sure. I think the Porter... I mean, the Porter could finish these guys off. I'm just not sure she has enough ammo. She should definitely be able to finish off this lead ship and probably the second ship in line. The Minneapolis can take a while, but come up and help. Honestly, maybe we're just better off waiting. 10,000 yards is kind of a, a long-range shot here. Let's hold fire. Bring us up max revolutions for 32 knots. Follow that destination. All right. How about you slow down, Porter? You're going too fast. I mean, you're hitting with everything pretty much, but... Nice spread of star shells here over the lead two Japanese transports. I imagine having some speed is ideal to make sure you're an ideal gun platform. Like, if you slowed down to zero knots, you'd be rolling with the, the waves too much, wouldn't you? So you want something to cut through the waves. Okay, 
she's a blaze. Let's have uh, Porter switch her fire. She might sink at the, with this amount of damage as is with these fires. We'll let the fires burn her out a bit. Anybody know if, if a ship is on fire, does that, like, act as a star shell in this game? Like, you see the ship burning so you have better better accuracy on her? Any, any of you guys know that? Does that happen? Yeah, Mars, it should let you auto-resolve, but it doesn't. So there's that. It does account for burning ships in the solution, indeed. Alright, thanks, Lake. Novel approach to damage control that the fires burn out. She must have just fired off some of her secondaries. Her primaries are set to hold. Secondaries are not. I don't really care. If they want to fire their secondaries, this, we've got enough ammo. Alright, so these two cargo ships are both burning. The one in the back is kind of like, hopefully no one notices me here. Okay, come on. This really needs a time compression. America, destroyer blazing away at helpless merchant ships. It's the G German Navy's dream. Alright, so this guy is dead in the water, low in the water, enlisting. Poor Japanese troops, right? Could you imagine the chaos going in here? A thousand or twelve hundred Marines packed in, getting just obliterated by five-inch shells. Fire is spreading. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Hold your fire, boys. Don't get too excited now. Secondaries you can shoot. What if those are hell ships? I mean, I guess they would be hell ships, right? Soon all I'll have to worry about is sharks. Oof. Are our lead turrets out of ammo? No, our forward turrets are out of ammo. We still have a thousand or five hundred rounds on the rear two turrets, though. And Minneapolis should be able to sink her on her own. The remaining one. Although I don't like the idea of just wasting rounds. We are inside 5,000 yards, you would think. You got a 50% solution, I guess. Alright, this one is almost below the waves. Hell ships had POWs on them. Well, I don't know where they'd get the prisoners of war. I guess maybe some of the troops that we pulled out of Guadalcanal, maybe some of their brethren had been, uh, been captured. Sean Mack, are you talking about for Rule the Waves? Yeah, if Rule the Waves let you build your own OOBs, that would be awesome if you could craft your own fleets and, and make sure you kind of controlled engagements that way so it wasn't always super random. But like, oh, you don't send three heavy cruisers out by themselves to fight in a fleet action? Alright, these guys are dead. Alright, Porter. You're gonna... Let's have you come around this way to head south on the third... Uh, merchant vessel here. Why don't you hold your fire for a little bit? Yeah, I don't think it would be a hell ship considering, uh... I don't, I don't think it would be a hell ship considering that they're sending troops to invade this island? Hold your fire. 
Right, one of the lead ships there is sinking. First one we stopped shooting at, just took a little while to make it official. Second ship in line should be sinking, I think, as well. <laughs> All right, so we're wearing a lot, out a lot of barrel linings here. Hey, Newhauser, maybe you would know. I know that, like, didn't the battleships, they could only typically fire, like, 170 rounds or something out of a gun before they had to rep replace the barrel lining? It would, like, burn itself out. Was that a thing on the 8-inch guns also? Was that, like, all guns? Because, like, I know a rifle barrel, obviously. You can fire, like, thousands of rounds through a rifle barrel before the rifling's going to go. But you're firing a much less explosive projectile, much lower pressures, all those kind of things. At what point does that become an issue where you start needing to replace the barrels semi-frequently due to, you know, the the metal fatigue or whatever? 200 rounds. Is that for a 16-incher, Lake? Like, I'm imagine a smaller gun, because, like, a rif rifle barrels, and I'm not, like, a huge gun person, but I've got a couple of friends who are. Um, I thought, like, I think, like, a standard, like, bolt-action rifle, you can put, like, 20, 30,000 rounds through. Depends on the gun and muzzle velocity. Maybe it's 10,000 rounds for our, for our rifle. But like, bolt action rifles in the early 1900s, I'm pretty sure they had a pretty damn long service life. In terms of the amount of rounds you can fire. Man... If only for video reasons, I really wish I had saved those uh, those torpedoes. It would have been nice to torpedo a helpless ship, but the merchants always seem to do a lot of damage against us. I guess maybe not in this case. You guys want to ram the cargo ship and see what happens? I'm just wondering how many how many times they had to replace barrel linings due to all the bombardment. Like, battleships, when they were designed and built, those barrels were not built to be artillery platforms for landing parties on islands where you would need tons of heavy artillery to suppress them. And I'm sure they used more of their 5-inchers for a lot of that work. But I just wonder how many rounds they would, you know, use that up on. Okay, just trying to get into perfect position here. We're inside 2,000 yards. That's probably good enough to open up on this guy, right? All right, rudder amidships. We don't have any HE, do we? Oh, we do in the rear turret. Secondaries, fire. Primaries. Salvo, fire. <laughs> Poor, poor troop ship. <laughs> Inside 2,000 yards. Broadside fire. <laughs> no. Although it would be tempting to ram them. Alright, let's... Alright, that other cargo ship up front has now officially sunk. So the porter's sailing right by her. Five inchers here. Hopefully they should be starting some fires. They're using HE. Nice. Two secondary explosions on that broadside. <laughs> 
Well, those eight inchers put this guy uh, put this guy under pretty damn fast. There you go. That was the longest victory, but it was a victory. So we lost the destroyer Waller, 2,500 tons. The enemy lost eight ships, two heavy cruisers of the to the Tone class, a uh, Kamikaze class destroyer, and an unidentified destroyer. Um, 51,000 tons, along with those four merchant ships, lost. 56 command points, and a nice little victory here for us as we wipe that enemy formation out. So we'll send this task force back to New Hebrides, and then we'll keep Task Force 8, our battleship task force, providing cover over Rennell Island. Meanwhile, the Japanese immediately rebuilt the airfield to level 1, so it does have aircraft operating out of Guadalcanal again. Uh, let's see here. What are these guys doing? All right, let's pull these guys back in. Okay, and with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Yet another surface naval action and yet another victory for our forces. Uh, we'll pick things up next time. I am actually, so there was about 20 minutes left in this live stream, but really nothing happened for the last 20 minutes or so. I think we sank one Japanese submarine. We formed a couple of task forces. Nothing super interesting. So we're going to wrap this up and then we're going to jump ahead in the next episode to the start of the next live stream where we'll give sort of a recap of where we're at um, but I just I don't want to make you guys sit through 20 minutes of, of nothing really happening in the next uh, next episode so again we'll just jump forward to the next live stream at the start of this next episode I hope you guys did enjoy this one and yet another allied victory uh, for ourselves and until next time this is the historical gamer saying once again thank you very much for watching and I'm out